It was December in 2011. I found myself in a beautiful dress standing on a stage in front of thousands of people in the Sun City Super Bowl and even more people watching me on national television. The 19-year-old Raleen Strauss was not aware of what was about to happen. There I was, top five of Miss South Africa 2011, about to answer the final question. The presenter handed me the mic just after the judge asked me and I couldn't think of the English words to say. I believe, um, I think, um, why did I struggle with public speaking? Why did I struggle to say what I wanted to say in front of all of those people? For a long time, I thought that the most applicable reason is probably that English is my second language. But I soon realized, or I recently realized, that that was not the only reason. One of the reasons that I, after that, even struggled to speak with my friends, struggled to speak in small talk conversations, struggled to speak and to voice my opinion um, with my then boyfriend, Daniil, I realized that I didn't know my story. Literally, I didn't know my story when it comes to public speaking, but I figuratively didn't know my story. You'll know what I, or you, you'll understand what I'm trying to say in just a while. But I recently also did a public speaking online course because I realized that there's so much more that I can learn. And today I want to share seven steps that help me improve my public speaking. I've learned so much when it comes to public speaking from two amazing individuals, Lisa Nichols, an international public speaker, and Neil Bearden, an amazing storyteller. So here are the seven steps that I use to improve my public speaking. Neil Bearden posted something on his LinkedIn page that really opened my eyes. He said that the closest distance between two people is a story. And that's where step one comes in. Know your story. Life hands us so many different stories and situations and challenges and joys and difficulties. And all of these form us. All of these give us a story to tell. Life is filled with valleys and peaks and valleys and peaks. Just imagine lying on a hospital bed, fighting for your life. The last thing you want is for that ECG monitor to flatline. We don't want to flatline. Yes, life gives us difficult things to handle, but that gives us stories to tell. It's all about the stories. That gives us things to share with other people. So think about all of the different stories that you can tell from your life experience. What are these valleys? Instances like my um, experience standing on, on stage in front of all of those people not able to speak. Write down all of these amazing life stories and practice them. Uh, practice them over and over again. Step two, who is your audience? Who are you speaking to? Is it two of your close friends who already know you? Is it an audience of two people, an audience of 10 people, an audience of 100 people? What are their demographics? How old are they? Are they female? Are they male? What are their world views? But most importantly, realizing that whoever you speak to, they are mostly selfish. They want value from your conversation. You have to make sure that you understand what they want, that you understand who they are, and that you can speak their language, not only literally their language, but also understand what their current knowledge is of the topic that you're going to speak to them about. Make sure that you speak their language and that you give them value. Step three, what is your message? Knowing all of these stories you have, knowing your audience, 
And now it's time to choose your message. What message do you want to convey? And a lot of the times we think that we have to convey so many different messages at once, but focus on one central or main theme, on one message that you want to bring across and make sure that, that's me that that message will add value to your audience. Step four, choose the value relevant to the message. So this is where step two and three kind of combine. You know all of, or step one and step three. You know all of your different values, all of your stories, and you know the message, which story, which value will be relevant to this message and choose that story, practice that story and be able to, step five, tell that story. Now we are at step five, tell the story. This is where the technical part of public speaking comes in. So you can see that there's a lot that goes into public speaking before you start with the technical part. Telling the story is almost the most important part of public speaking. First of all, you have to make sure that you get your audience's attention. Ask provocative questions, get them curious, make sure that you get their attention. Then the next part of this is to keep their attention. That's almost the most difficult part keeping their attention. Make sure that you speak their language, read the crowd. If you feel like they don't understand you, use metaphors to try and explain to them what you're trying to say. This is also where you have to take the message and the story and marry the two. Make sure that the story is like the golden thread. The story keeps the attention. The story paints this vivid mental um, movie <laughs> of, of the story, but then you have to take the message and almost infuse the message into the story. So in between, pause the story and share the message and go on with the story and then pause the story and share the message once again. Step six, give them a gift. And this is the most important part of public speaking. To give your audience, whether it's one, whether it's two, whether it's 100, all of these things that I'm sharing now is applicable. But the most important part is to give your audience a gift. And this gift is an idea. It's so important to leave your audience with an idea, to leave them with a light bulb moment, with an aha moment that is shareable, something that they want to go and share with someone else. Because when we leave them with ideas, we're able to show them a different way of looking at life. Show them something that they perhaps haven't seen before. And this is what will make your speech, that will make your story, and that will make you memorable. And the last step is, step seven, to really, really make sure that your story and that your speech is shareable and worth sharing, that your audience wants to go and tell the world about what they've just realized, what they've just heard about the story you've just told them. So as you can see, it's so important to know everything about yourself before you go on a, can go on a stage, before you can enter a room, before you can really have an amazing deep conversation with a close friend. So I didn't know my story. I want you to be able to know your story. What is your story? What is the message that you want to share? And how are you going to make a difference in the lives of anyone you speak to? Whether it's one, whether it's 100, whether it's 1000. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you enjoyed this video and share this on to someone who has a story to tell. Bye.